Welcome to Agile and AddonsModules.com. Agile and AddonsModules.com are developers of a wide range of modules and add-ons for the PrestaShop shopping cart system. This video will assist you in the configuration of the Agile Multiple Seller Module. In this video, we will briefly explain the available configuration options and their purpose. There are many Agile add-on modules available which can enhance the functionality of the Multiple Seller Module and add many additional features. However, for the purpose of this tutorial, we will be focusing only on this module's feature set. This configuration tutorial assumes you have already performed all the necessary steps to correctly install the Agile Multiple Seller Module in your PrestaShop 1.5 store. To start, we will log into the back office of our store as administrator. Enter your email address and password. Then click Login. At the dashboard screen, hover over or click on the Modules tab in the main menu, then click the Modules option. You will now see a list of modules currently contained in your store. To find the Multiple Seller module, click inside the search box located toward the top left of your screen. Then type Agile. From the list that appears under the search box, locate the Agile Multiple Seller Module and click on it. When the screen refreshes, you will see the modules listed. There are a number of options available under the module name. Disable, Reset, Configure and Delete in this particular case. Click the Configure option. On this screen, you will designate how the module will operate. You have three options for the payment collection mode. Store collects payment, seller collects payment, or both store and seller collect payment. You must choose one of these options according to how you wish your store to function. In store collects payment mode, all payments from customers go directly to the store owner and the store owner must then manually distribute payments to sellers. In Seller Collects Payment mode, payments will go directly to the respective seller. In this case, sellers are responsible for paying the store owner any amounts due for commissions, etc. In both Store and Seller Collect Payment mode, payments from customers are automatically split between the store owner and the sellers based on other configuration options such as store commission percentages, etc. In order to use this mode, you must use payment modules from Agile which can be integrated into the Agile Multiple Seller module. There are two options for shopping cart mode. A single shopping cart may contain products from multiple sellers or from a single seller at a time, depending on which option is chosen here. This table shows the possible combinations of options for the payment collection mode and the shopping cart mode while using various payment module options. The column on the left shows the types of payment collection modes while the other columns show the possible options for the shopping cart mode. Listed above are the payment modules that may be used for each scenario. As an example, if you choose Seller Collects Payment as the payment collection mode, then for the shopping cart mode, you may choose either products from a single seller or products from multiple sellers when using Agile PayPal Adaptive or any of the other Agile payment systems. However, using standard PrestaShop payment modules, you may only choose products from a single seller as the shopping cart mode. 
You may want to pause the video at this point to study this table in order to make a more informed decision on what combination of payment module, payment collection mode, and shopping cart mode will work best for your needs. The next option allows the store owner to require approval for product listings, which means that every product entered by a seller must be approved by the store owner before the listing becomes active. This screen shows the product listing page for a seller in the front office when the listing approval option has been checked. You can see, circled in red, that a new product has been added but is awaiting approval from the store owner before it will be visible in the store. The next option will allow a customer to also be a seller if checked. This means that customers who register in the store can also register to be a seller. This option will generally be checked. This screen shows a customer creating a new account in the store. At the bottom of this screen is an option that, when checked, will also create a seller account for this customer. This option is only available on this screen if you check the option for Allow Customer to be a Seller on the configuration page of the module. The next option allows the store owner to require approval for seller accounts registered through the store front or front office. This means that when this option is checked, customers can register as sellers but must wait for approval before they can start listing products. This screen shows the message that will be displayed when a customer also registers to be a seller, but you have checked the option for account approval required on the configuration page of the module. This message tells the seller that their account is awaiting approval. The next option either allows or disallows sellers to be able to add, edit, delete, or disable product categories. If the store owner wants to control categories in the store, it is best to leave this option unchecked. The final option allows sellers to have an info tab on the product detail page. This info tab can be used for addresses, phone numbers, Google map locations, etc. This option is usually best left checked. This screen shows the Seller Info Map tab that has been added at the bottom of the seller's product pages. This will allow the customer to see seller information on any product page belonging to that seller. The bottom section of this screen shows that an employee profile named Agile Multiple Seller was automatically created during the module installation, which will be used to link sellers to this module. Please do not delete or change this employee profile or the system may not perform correctly. Permissions for this employee profile may be set later in the configuration process. And please remember to click the Save button to complete the configuration process. This concludes the tutorial for the basic configuration of the Multiple Seller Module. For more information on seller operation within this module, please see our video on Seller Setup. And thank you for choosing Agile and AddonsModules.com.